what is this? Well, whatever it is, it's 50% fat. Okay, that's the easy part. Now let's decide what this fibrous and perhaps glandular area is. Well, if we subtract the 50% fat, we see half of the rest of the stuff looks like it's pretty dense uh, fibrous tissue. We could see uh, things here which look perhaps like asini or uh, alveoli of an exocrine uh, glandular organ. Let's, we're doing pretty well, so let's zip up. Besides the tremendous amount of fibrosis within uh, these glandular areas, we can also see that there are cysts. We can also see that these cysts are filled with uh, inspissated uh, secretion material. Okay, the glands are fibrotic as well, or the um, lobules are, and to the point where there's only a few places within this once normal pancreas in which you could see the usual amount of glandular uh, asini, perhaps central acinar cells. For the most part, this is a pancreas that has been totally fibrosed over. In addition, there's a heck of a lot more fat inside of it than there should be. In addition, you see these large cysts filled with uh, inspissated material. And uh, because it's apparently limited to the, uh, the fibrosis and destruction is apparently limited to the glandular area, the eyelets, like here, 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 they, they look like they're relatively uh, got off scot-free. Looks like the eyelets are still nice here, don't they? Except all of the, uh, or much of the exocrine portion of the pancreas is fibrotic, and that's why all of these islets here stand out. Here's an exocrine lobule that's just about ready to be fibrosed over, uh, and all of these are nice uh, islets of Langerhans. So let's put the whole thing together. We have fibrosis of the pancreas with cysts. This is cystic fibrosis. And it's classical for cystic fibrosis. And of course, we always think of cystic fibrosis of the pancreas as kind of like a knee-jerk thing to say after cystic fibrosis. But cystic fibrosis uh, involves every uh, exocrine type gland and particularly the uh, gland of branching tubules which uh, aerates our body called the lungs. So the most devastating effects of cystic fibrosis are in the lung. And that's why generally these uh, patients don't live too long. It's a very serious and uh, fatal disease. I took a little uh, liberty to do a little blurb from Wikipedia. And uh, I want to just go into a little bit about the uh, background of it. It's caused by a mutation in a gene called the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, or CFTR, if you like um, acronyms. This is a gene that helps produce juices, which normally uh, keep these exocrine glands and their ducts nice and loose. And if the, uh, mem if the gene doesn't work, the material inside the ducts builds up, it becomes viscid, and uh, therefore uh, there's amount, there's secondary to the obstruction because of these plugs of mucus everywhere. There's inflammation and fibrosis and organ failure. Um, it's considered an autosomal recessive, and if you even have one of the uh, genes, uh, you're going to be okay. Cystic fibrosis of the pancreas. Thank you very much.